Hi everyone, this is Jej and welcome or welcome back to Be Colorful for the latest video dedicated to the Tonic Craft Kit 56. Today I'd like to show you three ideas on how to use alcohol markers. In particular, I'm gonna use the three markers included in the kit. They will be three simple cards with uh, sparkling colors. Are you ready? So, let's get started! For the first two cards I decided to use the markers to create my own background. With a repositionable roller glue I temporarily fix on my work surface a panel which I die cut on white cardstock using a stitch rectangle die. Now with a ruler I draw horizontal line with the pink marker from the kit. I don't reach the end of the panel and I make the end of the line broken as if it were a brush stroke. Note the fast movement I make to obtain this effect. I continue by completing the left side of the panel and alternating the colors. I clean the ruler every time I change the color, otherwise I will contaminate the color I'm using with the one I used previously. And here we go! Simple, but I love it! Now let's decorate the card. I'd like to use the stamps included in the kit. I stamp the B with a VersaFine Onyx Black, a flower, and the sentiment Happy B Day. Then I heat embossing all the three stamps with a clear embossing powder. Next I die cut all the three stamps with a square die. I'd like to add finishing borders using the three markers I used for the background. So I'm going to draw the outlines of the square with a pencil. And I color the outside borders with the three markers. I glue the three squares with the stamps. and trim uh, all of them, leaving the finishing edges. I decide uh, how to arrange the three squares and I glue them with some foam pad to give dimension to the card. I finish by adding some glitter with the Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen. I just have to glue the panel onto a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Mm -hmm. 
as I already said at the beginning of the video, also for the second card I'm gonna use the three markers of the kit to create a background. This time I'm going to alternate the three colors, creating diagonal lines with different thickness, using the two tips of the markers. If you will try these techniques, remember to always clean the ruler between one color and another. Ok, the background is ready. You can leave it uh, uh, as it is, or make it uh, a little more special. I decided to fill in the wider strips by stamping Make a Wish several times. This is one of the stamps included in the kit. I'm stamping with clear embossing ink. So I'm going to embossing it with clear embossing powder. And look at that, a really gorgeous effect, but without making the background too busy, which is already colorful enough. Now how to use such a colorful and busy background? One solution is to add a very neutral focal point, as we did for the previous card. Use a stamp, but leave it in black and white. So I'm going to die cut an oval on white cardstock, on which I stamp one of the stamps of the kit using the VersaFine Onyx Black. As well as the Make a Wish sentiment I used earlier for the background. Of course, I'm going to emboss the stamps with clear embossing powder. And as you can see, the black and white stamp on a colored background looks great. One makes the other stand out. I just add a pop of color by creating the center of the flowers with a yellow crystal drop. I just have to glue the focal point on the background panel using some foam pads to give a nice dimension. And all on the card base, that is a 4.25 by 5.5 standard card. As a finishing touches, I'm going to add some glitter. This is the last card I propose to give you some ideas on how to use markers and small stamps. I already die cut a rectangle with a stitch rectangle die, and now I take the three small stamps from the set included in the kit. The flower, the leaves and the butterfly. I'm going to arrange them in a vertical line on a stamp block. I stamp them with the Memento Tuxedo Black, create a column. I use this ink because it is alcohol friendly, so I can color the images with the markers. Once it is dry, I proceed to color with the three markers included in the kit. I'm using green for the leaves, yellow for the flowers, and pink 
for the butterflies. Finally, I'm going to add the decorative dots here and there. Now we can leave the panel uh, as it is, but uh, I'd like to use the dies uh, coordinated uh, with these uh, three stamps. So I stamp them again. I color them with uh, the three markers of the kit, like I did before. Then I die cut the three figures with the coordinated dies. With the same dies, I'm going to die cut each figure two more times on white cardstock. Now I glue the die cut one on top of the other thus creating a very thick element. By gluing these three figures over the background stamps, I will get a beautiful embossed effect. But first I'm going to add some yellow finishing borders to the background panel. I'm going to create the card base always a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and I glue the panel to the card base, leaving the outer edges white. I glue the three die cut. And look at the effect. They look like uh, puffy stickers. Now let's move on to the sentiment. On the yellow paper of the kit, the same uh, I used uh, before for the finishing borders, I'm going to die cut uh, happy birthday. But I just use uh, birthday. I stamp happy on white cardstock using uh, a sentiment set that uh, I have on my stash. I emboss it with clear embossing powder and I'm going to die cut happy with this die that we find in the kit. Then I die cut the word per day again on some black mirror card. With this black die cut I'm going to add a shadow to the sentiment making it stand out. I attach the sentiment with some liquid adhesive. And I finish the card by adding some glitter. We have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, these uh, simple ideas uh, for uh, using your markers. 
If so, remember to click on the like button and leave me a comment if you like. And of course, subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell to not miss the next videos. Thank you so much for stopping by and we see you next time to start making Christmas cards. Bye bye!